For fuck's sake! Woo! Good morning, Trigo! What's happening? With this being our fifth game in 15 days, you're probably wondering how much more have I got left in me this season? I'm just warming up. It's here, it's now, it's game day. And here we are once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Your favourite show of the week sees us in cup action as we will be making a very long journey. I'm going Danny A120, it'll take us about an hour and a half at 56 miles where we head off to Rosemary Lane in this FA Vars game where it's Houston Tan v Langford in the FA Vars. FA Vars, you say? Weekend in Essex, you say? Jager bombs by the seafront, you say? Naughty little trickles? Reveal yourself! Oh, I do love playing away. But anyway, that's another chatting. Bollocks. Let's get to football. Nose! <laughs> So House of Town finished 10th last season in the Essex Senior. After 38 games, they finished on 54 points. They currently sit 18th after three games with one point. See you, by the way. See you. I don't want your jail. Sweaty sock. Mark McLean has been in charge since 2014. I can't work out his win percentage. We'll say it's a reasonable 56.2%. But since he's been in charge, they have finished the highest the club has ever finished last season, as well as a promotion. So I guess he doesn't need that gyro. And this was Housen's Tans Danger Men last season. I don't care about the mess. I don't give a fuck. Oh, shit. Here we go again. I don't know. So, with that all being said, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get into the next round of the cut and then the... Let me get the fuck out of here. Up the langy. <laughs> Curiosity. Now you have my attention. We are in Essex, lads. There's a sunbed that you go through. All right, so you all have five minutes on the sunbed. DT is done. They're a division above up. They would be step five in the Premier League, but they're down the bottom. I don't think they have anything to, to be concerned about. We can go out, play our best. We can beat anyone, but we have to play our best. That means whoever's involved in the game has to be at the top of your game. Lots of energy, lots of effort right from the very start. We'll have a little bit of a chat after you've gone done your warm-up. How's everyone feeling? Everyone else? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone else? Yeah. 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 Listen, let me just explain something for a minute. Because you seem a little bit flat. This is not a fucking free hit. It's an FA Vars game. Don't think of this as a cup game, it's a free hit. No, it fucking isn't. I want to keep the momentum that we've started building and I want to get through to the next round. Forget the fucking psyche that we're going out of there to win a game of football. It's not this, oh, you know, it's a long way. We've got to have a game of Vars game. It's going to be good surface. A few people here to watch. Fuck that. Go and play our game, win the game, move to the next round. Yes? Yeah. yeah. Right, thank you. Go out there, believe in each other, trust in each other, trust in the football that we know we can play, that we have been playing. Performances have been there, results haven't been. We know we've been wasteful. But we can only go against our last couple of games and momentum with us at the moment. No idea what this team will like, but to be honest, it doesn't faze me, it doesn't bother me. We play our football, we know we can beat any team. Let's go out there and enjoy the game. Wait, come on, come on. Stuart Robertson, Gaffer. Ebbs, goalkeeper. Anthony Carr, defender. Adam Turner, defender. Michael Pickard, defender, captain, leader, legend. Sam Onions, defender. Tommy Gerrard, midfielder. Joe Reynolds, midfielder. George, midfielder. 
Giant Basra, wing up. Blam, attacker. Lee Burford, attacker. Jacob Younger, defender. Jacob, midfielder. Jamie Bain, midfielder. Joshua, midfielder. As the rain continues to fall down, I'm not really sure what round this is. This is like the first, first, first qualifying round on the FA Vars. But either way, referee gave the signal and we've got the game underway. Goal kick from Halstead. We've won the first contact. But number five has seen a lovely little diag over to number seven. The counter attack could be on here. This could be dangerous as it's gone past absolutely everyone. There has been a shot. And nothing that Ebbs can't handle. From one end to the other, just as quick as that, Halston could have took an early lead as they had the first chance of the game. Another long ball from Halston. As Beanstalk misses it and it's bounced through nicely. Ebbs has come out and committed. And it was nice and safe by Ebbs. And it's straight down the other end. You remain Usain Bolt looking to drive. As this four round him, he plays it into the artist who has been pulled back. And the referee, you're looking straight out there. But of course, you don't give it as a penalty because it's just another shit referee once again. How have you not given that? That's embarrassing. Number eight looking to play a dive. They do love that dive into that court. Ebbs has come running. Hang on, man. What are you doing, Ebbs? Are you bored or cold in goal? I mean, it is raining and a little bit drizzle. Bless you. He's trying to keep warm, lads. Relax, all right? We had it covered. Chill the fuck out, will ya? So resulting from that throw-in, as we've won the first contact, but it's bounced nicely. Shots. Oh, just over the bar. Still nil-nil. Throw into Halstead as they look to get into our birds. Longest in the shower, we'll clear this up to the artist as he's beating meat and potatoes to the ball and it is a one-on-one -on -one foot race. The remaining Usain Bolt's to the right of him. What is the artist going to do? Can he find him? No, he's trying to take it on. It's a poor touch and the keeper will take that on. Was that the right decision? Was that poor decision making? But either way, that's a glorious chance wasted. Halston looking to launch this one in as they do all the way to the back post who's unmarked. He launches it back into meat and potatoes. Ebbs has got enough on that. Represents goal kick. Lovely switch over. It is another long ball, but they've managed to play it through to number 10. It's a three on three as number 10 is trying to twine and dine. Long as in shower gets shot off. Wonderful save by Ebbs. Is that one for the cameras? Got a spicy Italian would have a go at me if I didn't say it. Roll out from the keeper. Into number two. Yep, they're looking for it. Route one. But he's managed to find a gap as Ebbs has committed. The shot will just creep wide. From A to B, route one. Who said it's not effective in a modern game? Well, he didn't score. So kind of, maybe. I don't know. You know what I mean? Call a lawyer. Now we can get a chance to reset. I'm not sure what longest in the shower we're stepping into midfield for. But this is our chance to do a route one. As Beansalk has fanned the flash. As he has got the better of number two. As he does cut in. The artist is in the middle, but he's had a shot, it's deflected. Romani Usain Bolt! Yes, get in there! We are so going to smash this Tim Pollard. Boom, anything you can do, we can do better. You may have labelled it, but we fucking executed it. <laughs> get up! We are off to Wembley. Meet potatoes with a long clearance. Into number nine, who will play this into number ten. Call for offside, but it's not. And he just slots it past Ebbs. And that's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I've got skills. What are you going to do about it? Tugboat will play this out into the flash. It's not long to the half. It's still 1 1. Can we nick one just before? As the flash locks are cut in. He's got Stevens Perlo to the side of him, but he carries on. He'll play it into the artist who's completely out of the air shot, but the remaining Usain Bolt will flick this up. And it's a deflection. And that's got to be a corner, surely, ref. And he's gave a goal kick. That don't surprise me considering that penalty decision that he didn't give either. What an absolute whopper we've got here in charge today, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute sausage. And with that being the last kick of the first half, referee calls time on that. It is 1-1. It's clear and obvious now that he didn't get the corner. Bless him. Boy, he wanted to sit down. He didn't want that corner to carry it on a little bit more, did he? Literally, Route 1 Merchants and speed up the second round. We look okay, but we haven't played enough football. Poor goal to give away, but let's look at the positive. So they're playing the back three. Baz is killing right sided centre back. And the number seven tracks and then stops. Got to exploit that space because then it just drags their wing back. And the number five, it just sits in front of the defence. It doesn't go forward. We're on top of it. Yeah, but we've got to play the ball into feet or into space a little bit more. And then there's loads of room behind. There are three defenders go man for man. They are pretty tight. They follow you around the pit. But it means there's room behind. <coughs> but there's no point being room behind if we don't exploit them. They're a division above us. You're a better team. There's no, no doubt about, about it. it. Our movement off the ball is a bit quicker. The tempo is a bit quicker. When we were in position, it took us probably about 15, 20 minutes to <laughs> 
my first passenger plane going. I don't know if it was because it's raining. It's been raining. Are you being serious? <laughs> it's raining for both teams. Yep. Stop to make sure when we go out second half, keep the level, keep the tempo. When we play the ball, stop at mine and everyone else's play. No, I can't. What? Too many times we're playing the ball and going, that's a quality ball. No, do it again. And then we're mine and someone else is doing. What we're not doing is then coming up to support that individual. Do it again. Don't want to buy it. Let's get involved. Let's get them with the play. One more. The second thing is, let's kill them with possession. Let's dictate this play. They've got fuck all out there other than that long diagonal ball. That's all they've got. Sorry, do it again. You must have a fucking massive headache. And the third thing is, we are a lot better team than them. We've got to show it in every single part of the pitch now. <laughs> every single thing we do. One way to go, let's make sure we go over into the next round. Yeah? From the sidelines, there's only one footballing team on that pitch. Let's go. Come on, Come on boys. Come on. Come on. So we've heard from the pub landlords as the referee gets his second half underway. It is currently 1-1. There will be no extra time straight to penalties if we have to get there. Joe Essex to take this throw. Full start. We'll go again. Launches it in. The imposter will flick this on into the flash. As he's dropped the shoulder, he's turned and he scored. Gets in there. Bottom corner. We're back in the lead. The road to Wembley is back on. Get up. Free kick to Halstead. As the keeper will play this long. Just cut out by longest in a shower. As he places into the flash. The ball's played into the imposter and he knocks it over the top to longest in the shower. Wow, this is like 90-98 where Tony Adams has gone bursting through. Longest in the shower. Looking for his options. He plays it into the artist who has a touch and the shot. It's just wide. That could have been the road to Wembley sealed. Little one twos between number three and number five at house. as number three will knock this into the channel for number seven. He plays this over to number nine. He's getting a little bit heavy now with the rain. He's pulled the trigger number eight, and that's a great stop by Ed with his feet, and then Joey Essex with another block. Fantastic. There's a little bit of tussle in the box, as you can see in the corner, but we are on the counter attack. The referee, what's he? And the referee blows up for a foul. Oh, come on. I mean, that's one way to stop our counter attack. We're two and up. We're going for a third. Fantastic. Fencive blocked by Ed and Joey Essex there. With this weather looking to turn into a little bit of a mini storm, it's harder to tell what's going on with the VO getting wet. But the non league Abu Dhabi will play that into the remaining Usain Bolt as Joey Essex looks to find a little runner. But we found it and dinked it into the artist who's chasing it down. He's gone past one. He has a shot and it's in. Get in there. Three, one. That is it. Sand the Claxon. <laughs> we are on our way to Wembley to lift this trophy. You're free one up. What could possibly go wrong? We're into the last two minutes of normal time. We still lead 3 1 as Beanstalk will take a free kick. Hopefully, we can keep this in the corner and kill a bit of time as the ball has played it over to Jake the Snake. Lovely little touch. He's turned back on himself. But now the ball's been given away cheaply. And Houndstoon are on the counter attack as they look to get forward to try and pull one back. Beans has been caught flat footed. Ebbs, a not conviction. It's been chipped over him and it's 3 2 with two minutes to go. They've pulled one back. Hesitation for a few of our players to clear that ball. We've asked the ref how long and he said 30 seconds to play. Just see it out for 30 seconds, lads. It's not difficult as a ball's whipped in. A Houndstoon player does win the flick on. Can we clear our lines? It's Jamie's look as a hold off the cross. And that cross has come in. And they've only gone and equalised in the fucking last minute of the game. Well done, lads. Fantastic. Brilliant. Free one up. Don't want to go to Wembley? No. Don't want a day out? Don't want to stand on the pitch waving, wearing your sunglasses and your sunny silver suit? No. Don't want any of that? Fuck's sake. And that was literally the last kick of the game. Let's see what the pub landlords have to say as we go into penalties. Now look at us. We will address that afterwards. Now we go for penalty. Pick your order who's confident. You've got the best penalty stopper in the league. You're going to go through now, but we go up with confidence and we address the issues afterwards. Come on. What okay. five want it? Okay. Captain organise it. Who would like to take a penalty? I'm, I'm up. One. Anyone else? I love one. Two. Anyone I'll else? One. Tommy, three. Anyone else? I love one. Burf. Jamie, there's four. Anyone else? Burf. Burf. Five. Oh, there you go. There's the five penalty takers. Come here. Let's sort out the order. We know what we've done wrong. Okay, now we're ready. What order are we going? One, two, three, four, five. Whatever happens now, it's a lottery, but we make our decision. What I say to us all the time, execution of pass, this is where we have our courage and conviction, right here, right now. Don't worry about any pressure. Good Come on, Let's go for it. Yeah? Let's go. Houston will take the first penalty in this shootout. And it is slotted down the middle. 1 0 Houston. Long as in the shower, our main penalty taker steps up to take our first penalty in this. And slots it in the bottom left, his favourite corner. He enjoyed that one. 1-1. One, one. Houndstead to take their second pen. And he's blazed it over the bar. What's the VO doing? Sorry, lads, I don't know what the VO's doing, but Beanstalk steps up and put us in front 2-1. I have no idea what the VO's doing, but we are taking the lead in this shootout. What is the fucking thing doing? I have no idea what the VO's doing, lads, but Halstead scored. Let's see if it picks up the imposter's penalty. If not, there's no point just watching this. Ah, so the VO wants to play now. Okay, the imposter to step up. 
and cause you like just slots it in the bottom corner. Have some of that. Theo's having a fucking mare once again, lads. Halsford stepped up and scored. That was young Jamie, 16 years old, who stepped up and scored. There's no point turning around now, mate, is there? Doesn't I don't know. Is he going to catch it or not? You'll catch a run up. And that was another goal by Halston. But if we score this, we will go through to the next round, winning 5-4 on penalties. The amount of money you pay for a subscription on this, and it can't even fucking follow the ball properly. That's ridiculous. The artist steps up. Can he put us into the next round? And the keeper saved it. We now go sudden death. We was 12 yards away from going into the next round. It's funny how the video showed our penalty miss, eh? Hey? They're just telling him where he thinks he's gonna go as he goes the opposite way. <laughs> Miller time to step up and keep us in this tie. And he does just that. Well done. Halston steps up and scores, putting pressure back on us once again. Onions to keep us in the tie. The video didn't catch it, but as you can see by Houston's reactions, we missed. We are knocked out of the cut. House didn't go through. Let's see what the pub landlords have to say. I genuinely didn't think Lightning could strike twice, but it has. The Vars has just killed me again. Last season, we were 3-2 up with two minutes to go. We lost it 4-3. This season, we're into the 90 fucking minute with a 3-1 up, and we've conspired to throw it away. That's the negative. The positive, you have played these boys off the pot. Second half performance is so so good. The critical part is we should have killed the game. I know, I can see the disappointment. We have two choices now. We use this disappointment to drive us forward for the season or we let it define our season. And that's not going to fucking happen, I'll tell you now. I know these words are just going to gloss over how you're feeling. With five minutes to go, we should never be letting him back into this game, ever. Love it, I say he's going to sink in now because you're all feeling it bad. That is unacceptable, guys. That last five minutes on the pitch is unacceptable and we cannot allow that again to happen. You'll watch the video and it's shambolic. 90th minute, 3-1 up in a cup game. Been on top for the whole half and to let two goals in. We will address it though, guys, because we're not having that again. Jamie, so unfortunately we ended in defeat today, losing on penalties. You came on, you stepped up and you scored from the spot. That takes some courage, only being 16 years of age. How do you think you played when you came on as a sub? Not too bad, really. I couldn't really impact the game as much as I thought I could, really. The penalty, probably the highlight of the game, which was good to get good confidence. So as you are still making your way into men's football, different level than what you're used to, are you looking to shine a bit more? Yeah, I just want to do whatever, best for the team, attack and defending on the ball, just work as hard as I can, really, to get in so unfortunately, I won't be coaching a team that walks out at Wembley this season. It's always horrible to lose on penalties as well, but knowing that we had it in the bag with the last five, six minutes to go, baffling how we threw that away. But well done to Hounson Tan. Fantastic club, hospitality, can't thank them enough. They were, they looked after us, they were really nice, so good luck to them going forward. And next up, another cup game away against Stony Stratford Tan. You know what to do. Ta-la.